the flag out here at BRPD headquarters, like so many others across the country, flying at half staff tonight. This department especially hard hit over the past two days. And we start out tonight with the new information that we learned today about the gunman, the shooter, and this horrific attack on law enforcement. And law enforcement today confirming that this attack was deliberate and calculated. Tonight, we are getting a more clear picture of the horror that unfolded inside Lafayette's Grand 16 Theater. And many in Acadiana are out of their homes tonight, forced out by the floods. As Danielle Garcia shows us, many had some help getting the protection they need from Tropical Storm Cindy. Here in the Weather Lab with Daniel now. And Daniel, let's talk about the forecast and the track. We see those cones, but don't pay too much attention to those, right? Yeah. A chilly night out here at Le Festival de Mardi Gras, but I'm with a guy who's probably going to get a pretty warm reception. Hometown guy, Mackenzie Borg, back from American Idol. Hey, Facebook, Jim Hummel here again. In case you're not near TV, I just wanted to bring you the latest updates that we're getting on this historic flood. You see yourself ever running for governor again? We've been asking the tough questions. Did you skip out on child support? I'm not asking about you to say anything disparaging children. about the mother of your it's children, but I am happening, asking man. you, two weeks the, ago, the I did ask. The allegations are not true. Anyone can allege anything they want to in a civil document. Let me ask you once again, because two weeks ago, we sat down for a one-on-one, -on -one and I asked you, did you ever skip out on child support? You still stand by The that? answer is no, is that's that, right. Is that your voice in the recording? I don't know what type of person records telephone conversation. Clay Higgins, the congressman-elect for the 3rd District right there, thanking his supporters, thanking his family for his very big win in the 3rd District tonight, defeating the so-called career politician Scott Angel. Clay Higgins saying this is the beginning of a day when a working-class American can go to the halls of Congress, and that is happening right here in Acadiana. We have complete election results to recap for you coming up on Acadiana's news channel at 10 o'clock. Valerie Ponsetti will join me for that continuing coverage of our election night in Acadiana.